Let's talk about snow leopard geckos. The difference of snows when hatched are quite obvious from a non-snow. Snow leopard geckos have white bands that are usually color yellow or orange from non-snow geckos. This is a snow leopard gecko, you can see the white coloration from the bold pattern it has. And this one is non-snow leopard gecko, you can see that the white coloration is not present and has a yellow color to it. You can see a huge color difference when you put them side by side. It's not that hard to distinguish them apart when they were still small, but most snow leopard geckos turns yellow bit by bit when growing, when they mature, most of the time you can't see a difference between them. These two juvenile geckos are snows but you can see that one of them don't have the white color anymore, and the other one is starting to turn yellow too. Look at these geckos, can you see a big difference in their color? The one on the right is a snow and the other is not. Let's look at some samples if you can see which one is snow and not. Let's talk about the basic genetics of the snows. Max snow is a codominant or incomplete dominant for the right term, but let's use codominant. So what is codominant? If the parents are snow and non-snow, the offspring will come out as snows and non-snows. 50% chance to produce snow and 50% chance to produce non-snow. This is how dominant gene works. So what's the difference between codominant? Codominant has a super form. If the parents are both snows, 50% of the offspring are snows, 25% are non-snow and you can produce a super form. Super form is when they got two copies of the gene. This is a super snow. It is a some sort of an exanthic that reduced the yellow and red pigment on an organism. Super snows have black spots with white background. They also have these solid black eyes that is called false eclipse. It looks like eclipse without the eclipse gene on it. Let's talk about the eclipse gene on the other video then. Super snows are one of the best single gene morphs on leopard geckos. They have this beautiful color contrast of black and white and a cute face with solid black eyes. But. Many super snows are very picky eater and some of them grow slower because of this. They have little bit of a deformed head structure but that what makes them looks cuter than others. Let's go back to the genetics of snows, what if you paired super snow to a non-snow? All offspring will be snows because super snows have two copies of the gene. Just like how visual recessive gene works. Let's also talk about recessive genes next time. Now, if you pair super snow to a snow, 50% will be snow and 50% will be super snows. If both parents are super snows, all offspring will be super snows. Now you know everything about snow, right? Well, we only talked about the max snows. There are also different lines of snow. Albies. Tugs. And gem snows. Max snows are the one that are more common and much cheaper than the others. But if you want to know how the other snow lines works, we can make a video about that in the future. Hope you learned something from this video, and please consider subscribing. Have a great day.